Okay, as you can see, we're here in Grain State Forest, um, back again. First visit here was back in July last year, and we uh, found some really atrocious logging of rainforest down in the gully there. We will wander on and have a look at that later on. Um, since then, a lot of water has gone under the bridge, and I'm told that uh, uh, the Department of Environment, Climate Change and Water are finally going to do something about it and take possibly take court action. We're not absolutely sure of that yet, but uh, that's the indication we've received. Well, just look around you guys. Um, this is an endangered ecological community. It's called a lowland rainforest. The harvest plan that these Forest New South Wales put out to enable this to be trashed the way it has Mark this as scribbly gum blackbutt forest. Now, neither of those species is represented here at all. They've come in here, most of it was old growth, hadn't been touched before, and they have absolutely trashed it. There are still signs here that it is rainforest. You'll see brush box here with, um, with elk horns. There are cordial lines here, the palm lilies. There are walking stick palms, bangalore palms. Um, strangler figs even. Um, there's absolutely no doubt that this was lowland rainforest and should have been protected. But they've come in here and as you can see they have absolutely trashed it. There, probably 70% of the, of the canopy has been removed. 70% of the basal volume is gone. And uh, what is left, a lot of what is left is actually broken and smashed. A disgrace. It's now uh, nine months since this was logged. Uh, things have changed considerably. There's nothing but weeds as you can see. There's Crofton weed here, Lantana, various types of exotic verbenas. Uh, yeah, it's just a mass of weed. It's an absolute mess. One of the things that's uh, an interesting point that I should make is that being an endangered ecological community and protected under the Threatened Species Act, it is an offence to, to, to damage any native plant. And in fact there's an, there is a fine, uh, I'm not sure of the exact price, but it's something somewhere in the region of $1,000 plus for each plant that is damaged. Now if you went through here there would be absolutely millions of plants that they damaged in this. So potentially they could be up for a multi-billion dollar fine just for this damage and uh, it would be great to see somebody pay but that doesn't seem to happen in the real world. It's a mess isn't it? I'm off. Yeah we'll follow this track up here. Have a look at the weeds here. I'm not on my knees, you might think I am, I'm standing up in the middle of an old track and the blackberry nightshade here is two meters plus possibly two and a half meters the lantana is up to three meters already and all this has happened in nine months has anybody got a machete back there we might need it shortly this is getting worse Jay I'm going to be have trouble finding those big stumps in all this Leave the mess. Yeah, watch out when you're coming through here, guys. There's not only giant stinging tree, but there's also stinging nettles here. So, uh, yeah, we've got a bit of everything here. Um, nice little strangler fig behind me. There's a meter and a half old brush box there. It was so old that it's, it was uh, spared the chainsaws. Uh, one of those really big stumps I was talking about earlier on is right here in the bush. We'll find, be able to picture that in a minute. Uh, but this is this nobody could argue that this isn't straight out and out rainforest here It is uh, you know classic rainforest You yeah, know this is this is one of the stumps I was telling you about just now it's uh, I'm standing at one edge of it and it it's close to two meters across diameter here's the other edge of it here um, Enormous great big brush box it was. It was almost as big as the one over here, the old one I was talking about. And there's another stump just 
a few meters away. So the, the, these two tr giant trees would have been within five meters of each other and both have gone. Um, they've just dropped trees everywhere through here. It's all rainforest. It really was a scandal. Everybody involved would have known that they were doing the wrong thing. Everybody from the person who marked up the plot to the contractor to the carrier and even the even the timber mill would have known that there was something wrong with the timber they were bringing in. Just too big. Too big to be legal. Right here behind me there is a uh, tree with three red lines on it. Now that is the markup of the edge of the compartment. Um, from the Forest New South Wales timber guy has come through here and he's marked up that tree uh, which tells the loggers that they can cut down everything on that side of it. On the other side of that tree there's a creek. Now there should be depending on the size of the creek whether it be a, a category one two three four whatever there should be an absolute minimum of five meters um, exclusion zone measured from the top of the bank. Now we've had a lot of arguments with state forests over the years to the effect that where does the where is the stream bank? Now I'll bring the camera up a bit closer here shortly and we'll have a look and show you what I'm talking about. Now, now this is what I'm talking about. Um, I'm standing right on the edge of the bank here. I don't know if you can see it but it's a pretty steep, probably one in one or greater down to the creek. You can hear the water running down the, through the trees there, maybe 10 meters away. Well now that the camera's down there in the creek you can probably hear the water flowing and rippling in the background and uh, I'm standing at the top of the bank like I said before and uh, it, just looking at it now I'd say it's probably a little bit more than 10 meters but um, nevertheless it, uh, according to Forest New South Wales when they're doing their calculations they can start logging halfway up that slope because it's five meters from the stream bank. Whereas I contend that where I'm standing is the stream bank. So, uh, yeah, the argument will rage, no doubt.